Hey everybody, I just want to take a second to talk about this uh, case knife. This is the case mid-folding fo mid hunter. This one is the kickstart or the spring assist. Uh, I got this knife a few months ago. I've been wait was waiting on them to come out. They were announced at the January 2018 SHOT Show and uh, I couldn't wait for them to come out to try one. I actually prefer to purchase case stockman larges um, and I usually carry a case Stockman large of some color or you know variety. I'll, I have several different colored ones. If I'm not carrying my case Stockman, I'm carrying a Kershaw Leak, or uh, like right now I have my Buck 110 on. So, you know, the reason I bought this knife was it's kind of like the traditional, you know, case pocket knife, but it's going after the Kershaw Leak. And the fact that it's got the clip here and it's spring assist, you know, one hand kind of thing, you know, just flips right open. So it was, I think that they kind of were aiming this to compete with the Kershaw Leak. Did they hit the mark? Mm. The, the craftsmanship or the pretty factor is better than the Kershaw Leak. It's a prettier knife. Um, it's, I know the Kershaw Leak is made in America too, but... You know, I feel like this is more, there's more heritage in this knife. There's more, you know, something the, of quality. Um, does it function as good as the Kershaw Leak? No, it does not. Uh, once I lubricated this uh, here in the bolsters and got some good Teflon lubricant in there, then it started functioning properly. Um, when, when it comes back to the midpoint here, it's a little loose that's not the case on the Kershaw but at the same time the Kershaw will just come right back on you and this this will stop here to keep from coming on your finger uh, this out of the box was sharper than a Kershaw this thing is incredibly sharp straight out of the box uh, and the Kershaw is too but I think this is sharper I love the fact that you can date these and you can know what year that they are and so forth so far so forth uh, so, I paid $63 for this knife at Frost Cutlery in Chattanooga, Tennessee. Most Kershaws are a little less or a little more for a Kershaw Leak. Um, depends on the color. Like that with this, if you get the really fancy colors, it could be over $100 um, online. I don't think I could pay that, to be honest. I think that's a little too much for me. Uh, if I caught a really fancy color or something on sale for $75, $80, maybe I could go there. But no, I couldn't go much more than that. Um, there's too many other high quality knives out there for that much money. But why do I buy case knives? Well, honestly what happened was a few years ago, one of my cousins contacted me and gave me a pocket knife that my grandfather owned and I only met my grandfather one or two times he died when I was four years old and it meant a lot to me that that cousin gave me that pocket knife and I immediately put it in my safe knife roll where I keep my knife my special to me knives my knob the knives that I carried when I was in Iraq or when I served on certain ships or whatever I, I keep those in a certain place um, safe and for the future and that's kind of how the case knives are i buy these because i can date them to the year and i know that one day my grandchildren will enjoy them and they'll know that they were grandpa's knife so i recommend this for the 60 to 70 dollar range for the hundred dollar price range i think that's a little high um, if you're a big case enthusiast enthusiast maybe uh, if it's a really special color, if you've just got the money and you just really like it, okay. But, you know, it, it's it's a good folding knife. It's a good spring assist knife. But I feel like $100 is a little high. But for $60, i will buy every color they got. So, and I know my wife's around here somewhere. Maybe she listens to this video. Christmas is coming. Uh, I need to go up to Tennessee soon anyway, so... You know, if I could get some different colors in this for the $60 to $70 range, I would do that. That's my recommendation. 
Thank you for watching my videos. If you have any comments, please make them. Uh, if you have any questions, send me an email. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.